What's up you guys, back here with another video. This is one that is about eight months in the making, I guess, give or take nine months, something like that. Uh, if you've seen my video, and I'm gonna link it in the description box, where I unboxed my PS4, that was back in July when Arkham Knight was released and I bought uh, the Arkham Knight Special Edition with the, the silver PS4 with the embossing on the side and the silver controller and all that stuff. Or I guess they call it Platinum Controller. Um, I held off getting into this generation because I felt like, one, there'd be a price drop. There wasn't, but I really wanted the Special Edition. So uh, I went with that. I've had it now, like I said, since last July. So uh, I guess, again, eight, nine months, something like that. And I haven't financially been in a position to buy a ton of games, but I have my entire PS4 collection, and I'm going to do my Wii U collection and like my Amiibos in the next few weeks as well. So uh, look for those coming up. But today we're doing the PlayStation 4 one year in. My thoughts on these games that I have here, and of course there are a ton more. You're not going to see in front of you today um, The Witcher 3. You're not going to see... Oh, goodness, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. There, there are a lot of games you're not going to see. Obviously, No Man's Sky is coming very soon, but uh, this is what I've got. I think there are eight games here, and uh, I also recommend downloading Super Meat Boy, just if you happen to come across it, because I did. Um, I got this one super cheap on, I think, Amazon or ebay or something like that this is the walmart edition i don't know what it says it had an exclusive mission and weapon but i got it secondhand so there's that um, assassin's creed 4 black flag and on the ps4 it had 60 minutes allegedly of extra gameplay so there's that i have this game on the wii u as well very well acclaimed um, set in 1715 in the caribbean I haven't played this one a ton because I started playing it on the Wii U and then just got into other things. So I'll probably pick this up at some point. It just hasn't been all that high on my priority list. Um, I'm not big on the pirates. Plus, I did have one friend tell me uh, you, you could just get Wind Waker HD. So there's that. Uh, we'll set that off to the side here. Now, the game that I bought the console for, Batman Arkham Knight. This is the uh, one of the special something something editions. I don't know. It doesn't say on here. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, it came with extra missions though because it, w it was part of the bundle. I got DLC exclusives or something like that. Whenever I bought the Arkham Knight PlayStation Four. Now a lot of people bought this game on the PC and they had issues with it. That is not the case at all with the PS4 version. This game ran like a gym. I never had any problems at all. Uh, this game was great. The DLC was good. Uh, some of the extra skins and stuff, you can maybe make it out right here. Uh, the TV series Batman skin and uh, Batmobile skin, both of those were fantastic. Uh, really gave the Batmobile a good look until I got the second Batmobile and then I was upset because my skin didn't show up. But uh, really good game really good game i thought they forced some of the batmobile tank stuff i love driving the batmobile but i felt like some of the action with the batmobile was forced um rocksteady did a great job with this though and if you played the other uh batman the arkham series games you'll really enjoy this if you haven't already got it uh, now the storyline is a bit predictable if you know batman lore you can probably figure out who the Arkham Knight is, and I think they actually put some hints in the game, if I remember correctly as well. So, uh, no real surprises in my mind when you're playing that game. Now, this is the game that I've probably put the most time in. My girlfriend got this for me before I got my PlayStation. My birthday's in June. She bought this for me then, and I just had to sit on it and wait until uh, until I got my PlayStation in July, but I had already pre-ordered it, so she knew I was going to be getting it. This is the day one edition, but I did get it uh, pre-owned from GameStop, so I did not get Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or the extra... Um, the extra uh, 
pack thing, uh, suits. There we go. Or the steel book. I'm going to be buying at some point either a sealed version of this so I can get the extra uh, DLC or a steel book by itself because I just thought the steel book looked great. But this is a phenomenal game. If you've ever played a Dragon Ball Z game, the Budokai series, the Budokai Tenkaichi series, sagas, um, ultimate any any of those games raging blast any of those games battle of z this is the best uh, you get to play as the different races um, we've got the majins the humans namics um, saiyans you can play as all of those plus um, some people call them the arconians but the frieza race you can play as that too you design your own character and play through uh, there there is so much to this there are different styles there are six different I guess point things like think of it as an RPG there are six different categories that you can level up there I'll put it that way and you really have to be judicious with how you do that what kind of character do you want to make um, this game though is so much fun and so many attacks that you can get and so many different ways to design your character and of course you can also go back and play through different battles different quests as they're called in the game but different quests with friends for one or by yourself with the traditional characters that would be in those roles so it's a, a ton of fun if you haven't got this one and you're a dragon ball fan which i think everyone knows by now i am pick that one up uh today far cry 4 this is the limited edition version that meant nothing to me because i got this one um pre-owned as well this is a fantastic game the weapons are awesome the gameplay is awesome the look of this game i when i got dragon ball z or dragon ball xenoverse when i got that game it was the first thing i played on my playstation 4 and i marveled at how nice it looked now arkham knight is a very dark game so i didn't pay much attention to it and some of these other games that you'll see over here are are darker games when i got far cry 4 it was right around the thanksgiving holiday and i put it in and i turned it on and i thought this is beautiful and it really is everything looks great the the story is a good story everything is good about this game there's not one complaint that i had other than it makes you focus too much on side quests you have to do certain side quests before you can advance the story and there's so many side quests to go through and they become repetitive but that's the same with any open world game there's only so many things they can have you do this game is phenomenal pick it up today of course um far cry primal is coming out or is out i don't even know uh, i've heard really good things about it as far as the the basic weapons but if you like rpgs and machine guns go pick that up i know i know you should have played this on the ps3 right yeah i should have but i knew it was going to get a port right no, i didn't really know that but when i heard it was going to get a port i held off and I picked it up on the PS4. I have not played through it yet. I'm going to. I need some time when it's dark and rainy and scary. Maybe I'll play it in the middle of the night. I don't know. But The Last of Us Remastered, I, I can tell you this. I've seen comparison videos and I've played other PS4 games. It is a step up from the PS3 version. And they did something with this. The... Um, Cutscenes and that kind of thing are very much cleaned up. Now, the gameplay, there's only so much they can do without just redesigning the whole game, but it does look better, and it's a good game. So, uh, pick this one up. Naughty Dog, of course, did a fantastic job with that one. All right, this is pretty basic. We'll go through this real quick. Madden 15. I need a next-gen Madden. I got it. Madden 15. Very good. I'll probably get whatever the next one coming up is. I guess it'll be Madden 17. I'll probably get that. Yeah, my little secret. I like sports games. Deal with it. I've put a ton of time into this one as well. No, I did not pay $17 for it. <laughs> I had a coupon. That's why I bought it. I think I paid 7 maybe. But Minecraft, man, I forget what the actual dimensions are. Like 24,000 pixels or 24,000 cubes by 24,000 or something like that. You can Google it. If you start on one side of the map, you go all the way to the edge of the map and you travel flying in a straight line in creative mode across the map, it will take you 30 minutes to get from one side to the other. 30 actual minutes. That's incredible. You can build anything you want. I've taken on things like a life size, or not a life size version, but uh, <laughs> a very large version of the Ecto-1 
I've worked at building um, a to scale version of the uh, Enterprise 1701. I've, I've worked on a lot of things. It's very hard to convert stuff to cubes. I'll tell you that. Very difficult. It takes a lot of work. Get your graph paper out. Go back to geometry class. Now, the last game in my pile here, so I guess actually I only had seven. Am I missing one? No, I don't know what it would be. Um, this one, I got this for Christmas, and this is a legitimate case of I held off for the Game of the Year edition. When it came out, uh, I said, I've got to have Shadow of Mordor. But at the time, I didn't have my PS4. I wasn't going to fork out 60 bucks for a game I couldn't play yet, so I waited. And then I had some other things in the pile over here, so people were asking what I wanted for Christmas and I told my family, I said, this game is going to be on sale on Black Friday. I'd really like a copy. Now, I went for this over with The Witcher 3. This game is brilliant. If you're a fan of The Lord of the Rings, kind of like with Dragon Ball, um, pick it up. Now, I'll say this about Dragon Ball and Shadow of Mordor, if you're not a fan of the sagas, the series, the movies, the video games, the TV shows, those sorts of things, then you won't like this as much. But this game is set, as I understand it, between the Battle of Fi the Five Armies and the Fellowship of the Ring. And it really explores how the ring was created, the deception of by Sauron, and things like that. Just such a cool game um the bright lord campaign and some of these other campaigns that are in here were added dlc and they play now as part of the if you get the game of the year edition they play as part of the story you kind of have to play through those things as you go along so um this is a really really good game there was never a moment when i was tired of it as i played through it now i played through it in like a week I mean, I hit it hard over the holidays between Christmas and New Year's. I really hammered this game home. In fact, I beat it on New Year's Eve. And I remember thinking, gosh, I wish there was more to this game. And it's not like The Force Unleashed 2 where you're like, oh, I beat this in four hours. No, it took time and effort. But this game was awesome. And uh, if you look into the war chiefs and the commanders and that kind of thing with the uruk -ai, the way that they work you can run into them anywhere and they learn about you and you learn about them just a phenomenal game by monolith and warner brothers um well it says here over 50 game of the year awards this was a, an incredible game i appreciate the fact that my family even gave it to me and it was amazingly fun so uh, those are kind of the games that i have uh, i've just got excuse me as i drop things i've just got the seven right now I'm sorry, it is eight. I just can't count. I just have the eight, but um, I've, I've got more games on the list. I mentioned earlier No Man's Sky and some of the other things, so uh, certainly more games to come, but I don't know if I've ever been more satisfied with the console than I am my PlayStation 4. I use my PS4 for Netflix and HBO and um, you know YouTube and video games and I, I use it for everything i use it constantly so it's my blu-ray player it's uh, it's mounted on the wall it's everything so i i can't think of anything i've ever been more satisfied with gaming wise um as far as things that i would tweak about the ps4 after almost a year with it i don't know what they would be other than some of the notifications i get sick of in-game notifications and you know friends are joining parties and things like that but whatever uh great console pick one up if <laughs> i heard rumor that microsoft is shutting down the xbox so uh certainly you know it's a good time to jump ship come over to ps4 or throw nintendo a bone and go buy a wii u yeah we'll do wii u games uh, in a new collecting video coming up soon you know just kind of a rundown of the collection but for now this has been my stack of ps4 games tell me about yours in the comments below let me know what do you have what do i not have that i should get and i know you're gonna say the witcher 3 i know i know i'll get it don't worry i'll get it <laughs> thank you guys for watching like subscribe and comment below and i'll see you next time